Welcome to Morning Prayer. Hello, um, so if, if any of you have met me before, um, my name's Lily and I am the student chaplaincy intern for St Luke in the City and it is a delight to be able to bring you um, a short moment of morning prayer this morning um, on Lady Day, Ascension Day. Um, please keep an eye on the candle for me because I've got a feeling it might go a bit um, wrong and viral if I get a bit wrong. So we'll just take a moment, shall we? In as well, just in case you're wondering what that was. So just take a moment. Gracious God, we thank you for this opportunity to meet and for fellowship together at the beginning of this day. We pray for those who are struggling this lockdown and we give you thanks that we're able to meet electronically. In the words of Julian of Norwich, all shall be well. All shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Amen. So I thought what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to read some scripture. Um, if anyone would like to join in, I'm reading Luke 1, 26 to 38. And that is about the, um, the Ascension Day. So that's what marks today. So if you have your Bibles ready, you're very welcome to join in. Read along. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the six months of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent an angel Gabriel to Nazareth, the, the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings. You are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled by his words and wonders what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you shall call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One will be born and he will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she is said to, unable, she is said to be unable to conceive in her six months, and she is in her six months. For no God, from no word, oh, stop that again. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. And the angel left her. This is the word of the Lord. I was reflecting on this passage last night, and there was a lot of key themes that jumped out and particularly for the time that we're living in right now 
Um, if anyone has any import, by all means, add in the, the comments. Um, there's trust. There's obedience. There's love. There is new life. There is spring. The big thing is obedience, I think. Um, we are all being obedient to the government right now to slow the spread of this virus. And we are looking after the most vulnerable in our society. The bit that jumped out to me as well was no, no word from God will ever fail. I don't know about you at this time, but I'm taking this opportunity of a lockdown to look after my own spiritual health. And I think gathering in prayer is um, a wonderful thing to be able to do and um, that I'll reach as well. Um, so um, any prayer requests or um, during this time, I'm going to light these candles in silence and then I'm going to end with a poem. Lord God, we pray for your world. We pray for the sick and the vulnerable at this time. We pray for your church, the clergy who are rising to new challenges and doing so much behind the scenes to facilitate This call to worship. We pray for those in the NHS. So if anyone does have any prayer requests, please do type them in and we can all hold it together. Let's hold a moment of silence together. The birds they sang at the break of the day. Start again, I heard them say. Don't dwell on what has passed away. Or what is yet to be. Yes, the wars they will be fought again. The holy dove, she will be caught again. 
bought and sold and bought again. The dove is never free. Ring the bells, and still they can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There's a light in everything. That's how the light gets in. But they were comforting words from um, a spiritual resource I received on um, a pastoral care away day. Um, As we bring this to a close, I invite you to bring your prayers before God, spoken and unspoken, to join in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Um, I'd like to set you a task today. Um, it's all about it's a hashtag worry free Wednesday and positivity and keeping your spirits up while we are under lockdown. So um, I'd like to set you a task. If you take a single piece of paper and write your name in the middle and put around your name the people of those who you love, who have inspired you, who heal you when you talk to them or what those who have encouraged you. Every name carries a light that illuminates the brain and the soul and the cells in the body. And if you want to, put that up somewhere that you can be reminded of the people that you love and um, just uh, stay safe, look after each other um, uh, and stay blessed. Amen.